Hi, I'm Annabelle Trades, and I'm reporting to you from a very empty blacksmithing shop. We have sold our farm in Seattle, and we are relocating to Nashville, Tennessee. But before we left, I wanted to do a few collabs with some of my favorite Seattle makers. One of those is Tyler Bell. So please enjoy as we make an extremely over-engineered, hand-forged bottle opener in this blacksmithing shop before it was completely empty. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Tyler showed up at my shop with a handful of tools he'd made and a general idea of what our end product should be. This project wasn't like anything I'd ever done before and Tyler didn't have a ton of experience forging, so we decided to take turns depending on wherever our next idea led us. This project was especially fun for me because it was the first, also unfortunately the only real chance I had to use the blacksmith shop I had built this summer to its full potential. Had I known we were going to move across the country six months ago, I probably would have done a whole lot of things a whole lot differently, but I think it's really important to do the things and to chase the dreams that are important to us because we never know where your, our lives are gonna take us. And having set up my blacksmith shop in Seattle, Setting up my next shop in Nashville is going to go a whole lot quicker and smoother. We just punched two holes that this round bar is going to slide through. The punch isn't quite the diameter of this round bar, so we're going to drip those holes just a little bit bigger. We have to bend this in the reverse direction and we've got one shot because once we bend it, it may or may not fit back in the forge. Pretty dang cool, dude. is now too big to fit in the forge. We're gonna have to improvise a little bit. So a while back, I made a video about making a forge in an ammo can. And so I figured we use the ammo can forge, not the way it was intended, uh, just because it has all the fire bricks and everything. And we use a lead torch okay. as our heat source. It's a little bit of a redneck solution, but let's go for it. Let's do it. As I mentioned at the beginning, this video is sponsored by Squarespace, a awesome, easy to use platform where you can create a stunning website for yourself.
I've been using Squarespace since I started my business in 2012. It is really easy for someone who's not very tech savvy like me to drag and drop and create a stunning website with all my needs. I have a commerce section so you can buy merchandise or products that I create and sell. I have a blog, I can host photos and videos, and it's just a great resource for me. Make sure you go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash and of all trades to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace provides beautiful designer templates that you can just drag and drop your material into, and Squarespace also offers incredible customer support 24 seven. So next we have to make this little V point, like a little mountain top. So we're gonna try these dies. We don't know if it's gonna work, but we've got two pieces of steel, so we're willing to just give it a shot and see if it works. Yep. So this V die gave us a good sharp point there, and the rest we'll just flatten out and leave that point in the middle. On. Yeah, I'll keep my face out of the way in this projectile. Perfect. Perfect. One, Go two. Ahead. <laughs> it savored the, it broke the, it broke the glass. Dang it. <laughs> well, there's no glass in this cap. So we're making, we're making progress. <laughs> Three, two, one. I mean, is there a simpler way to open a bottle? I think not. I think not. Hey Tyler, thank you so much for coming over and spending the last couple of days. This was super yeah. fun. What a blast. Uh, if you don't already follow Tyler Bell, make sure you go do that right now. He is absolutely brilliant. This was a project that was designed after your pneumatic bottle opener, right? Yeah, I made a pneumatic over-engineered bottle opener. It's ridiculous. Go check out his channel right now. I hope you leave this video challenged, inspired, and excited to go try things with your own hands. Cheers! And just because I know a lot of my longer-term audience is going to be interested, I want to show you this place and give you one last look before we actually pull on out. So a friend of mine, Daryl, has purchased the farm and he actually purchased a lot of our tools and equipment so it won't be fully empty, but this is the state of the shop as we're leaving it.